Club Q offered a safe, welcoming place, a place free of judgment, a place unlike any other in Colorado Springs. Our Mark Salinger talked with Coloradans who tell us they have lost both friends and a place that they love, a place that loved them back. We are heartbroken. The shooting at Club Q stole so much. The people who were in the club Saturday night, they're our friends, they're people we know. The lives, the sense of safety, the space to feel welcome, now gone as signs of support fill the city. It does something to all of us psychologically, emotionally, physically, spiritually, knowing that that sanctuary has been violated in such a violent way. Club Q was a safe space to so many in the LGBTQ community in Colorado Springs. Pastor Alicia Erickson knew it was somewhere everyone was welcome. It's a club for people to go to where when you walk through the front door, you can be yourself, whoever you are. The sanctuary at the Pikes Peak Metropolitan Community Church is now a place for mourning. It's having a ripple effect far beyond the walls of Club Q into the community. It's probably the only church in town that has pride flags and rainbow balloons around the building. A welcoming place for the LGBTQ community in a city that's now lost another safe space. Club Q has long been a safe space for people in the LGBTQ plus community to join together with others, to have fun, to dance. Danette Trish is a parent advocate with PFLAG Colorado Springs. The organization is constantly working to create communities where everyone feels welcome. We safely gather uh, once a month in a meeting that is like a support group. Club Q is now behind police tape. The memorial outside is swarmed with TV cameras and a community that once felt a sense of belonging inside a nightclub. And it's a place for people to go to feel part of a family. Feels attacked in a place they thought was safe. Spoken with lots of people over the last couple of days who have been to Club Q in the past. Each person tells me the same thing. It was a place where you could walk in with whoever you wanted and not feel like anyone was judging. It was a place that felt welcoming for a lot of people who didn't feel welcome in other places. And more than just a nightclub, it certainly was a nightclub at times, but this is a place where the community gathered at, at all hours for all kinds of different reasons. Yeah, I've talked to people who said that they've been to fundraisers there, different events, and it was always the place where people said, hey, I want to host my event. Do you think Club Q would let me do it? And the answer was always yes. They were that type of welcoming community that was attacked. Mark, thank you.